So go ahead, Dave Feldman. found the term lean mass hyper responder. I'm like, that's me. You know, apparently there's, it, it, it's a lot of people who have that low, tri low triglycerides, high HDL, and high LDL. Mm -hmm. Those three together. And so, I, just, I found it kind of fascinating because, you know, I thought, well, it's just me, but there's a whole group out there. Jeff, Absolutely. I just texted you a question. It's kind of long, that's why I sent it to you on the phone, and it's kind of talking about the same thing. If you wanted to respond to that, but not sure. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, and he's just like an engineer or something. He's not yeah. even a doctor. Yeah. Not just. Not just. Is it F U H R M A N? Feldman. Feldman. F E L D. All right, I, I'll read this question out to you, but let me tell you a little bit about Dave Feldman's work first. So Dave Feldman is an engineer, and engineers are people who don't think like physicians. Physicians think empiric. All of medical profession has become what is called prescriptive. Prescriptive means you come to a doctor, they'll give you five medicines. They'll not talk about lifestyle because they're not interested or they don't know or they don't think it works because it's not really worked in, in all of their life. Whereas engineers think about root cause. Why did this happen? How can I get to the root cause and correct it? So Dave Feldman noticed that when he went on a low carb diet, his diabetes went away, but his HDL went up, his triglycerides came down, and his LDL, which many people call the bad cholesterol, skyrocketed. And from that, he put out a tweet and a blog post, and he found that there were thousands and thousands of people like him who were metabolically healthy, lean, athletic, who had what you call as lean mass hyperresponder. That means they had a large amount of lean mass, and when they went on a low carb diet and fasting and exercise, their LDL skyrocketed. So just like any true scientist, he said, it's not enough for me to say that these people are actually healthy. I need to really find out. So through a lot of perseverance and dedication and Citizen Science Foundation that he founded through some of his own money and through philanthropists, he is now doing a study which only part of it is available. So he's taken 100 patients like this. And in these 100 patients, he's done lipid profiles. He's done calcium scans, and in, in addition to calcium scan, he's done what is called a coronary CT angiogram. So a coronary CT angiogram is a step further in which you evaluate the blockages inside the blood vessel. It's just like me going from your leg and doing a coronary angiogram and showing what kind of blockages you have. You can achieve a very good idea of that with high-speed CAT scan by injecting intravenous contrast and taking pictures from the outside without introducing a catheter into their heart. So these patients, 100 of these, were roughly compared with another 100 patients who were not like lean mass hyperresponders. So these control group don't have the cholesterol profile that this group has. This group has low insulin levels, low triglycerides, high HDL, and high LDL. So when you look at this group and this group, who do you think had lower amounts of calcium? This group did. Who do you think had lower amounts of blockages on coronary CT angiogram? The, the group that was the lean mass hyperresponder. Now, now they're being prospectively followed. They're being followed over multiple months and years to find out if there is progression of plaque buildup because of high LDL. Now, I can tell you in our practice, we have several people who I have followed for somewhere between five to 10 years 
exactly like the lean mass hyperresponders with zero calcium score at this point and zero calcium score despite having five to 10 years of high LDL with low insulin, low triglycerides and high HDL. So I think that answers part of the question that, the, that came up from online from the people who are watching. Okay, so does that answer your question? Yes, <laughs> sure, okay, you go ahead and then. Yeah, 